update you on this. Basically, this is a technology that uses small diameter aperture optics. And the, the center here is 1.6, and the outside is 3.8. You can place it under a lacing flap, or you can put it in a pocket. Uh, and this uh, product is actually launching right now in Japan at Shinagawa Clinic and in Europe at Optical Express. And uh, I thought the typical patient was going to be the emetropic uh, presbyo, meaning me, someone who's Plano. But uh, in the two uh, areas it's uh, being launched, the most typical patient is the presbyopic patient who has myopia and astigmatism, or hyperopia and astigmatism, and they hesitate to have LASIK because they then are just saying, I'm trading distance glasses for near glasses, i got to wear glasses anyway. And so the most common procedure being done is what we call SimLASIK, which is you treat the myopia and astigmatism or the hyperopia and astigmatism, and then you simply put this device uh, in the non-dominant eye, uh, and uh, basically that uh, allows them to have enhancement of their near vision as well. So uh, it's interesting, even when you consult for companies, often you're wrong. Uh, it turns out it's not the amitropic uh, presbyopic, it's, uh, it's the presbyopic patient who has a re residual refractive error as well and that they want both corrected. Uh, basically what this does is what you would expect it to do. This is a defocus curve that we're uh, classically used to seeing. Uh, and if we use a 2040 uh, as, a, as a target here, we've got perhaps one and a half to two diopters of uh, defocus. Uh, but if you put this device in, you can see there's a huge improvement in the uh, range, and it shouldn't uh, necessarily say uh, accommodation, it should say increase in depth of focus because this is a, really a pseudo-accommodative outcome. It doesn't really change the accommodative amplitude. Uh, so I'm not going to show uh, the video. This is the longest term follow-up data. The first work was done uh, in, uh, in uh, Turkey, and while it doesn't show on this chart, uh, Farouk Yilmaz basically uh, updated the data when we were in Japan just about a month ago. Uh, and his patients now, uh, which were 53 in number, are, are out uh, almost three years and basically the same outcome. And he's basically achieving 20-20 J1. And so that doesn't mean there's no impact on vision. There is a little uh, impact on night vision, a little loss of contrast sensitivity. Uh, but having a presbyopic procedure that can generate those kinds of visual acuities uh, is something that seems to be generating pretty uh, satisfied patients. Uh, the U.S. clinical trial is ongoing. Uh, 506 subjects have been implanted at multiple centers. Uh, the data is uh, not done yet and ready to submit to the FDA. Uh, but again, one of the attractive things here versus the other intracorneal lenses I've done and Presby LASIK and some of the other alternatives is we're retaining excellent uh, distance acuity. You would expect that with a pinhole optic. And uh, near acuities here in the J2 uh, to J3 range, they do tend to improve some over time. We'll see where this ends up. Uh, USA, uh, you should expect to see this at the best in maybe 2012, but we have people here from all over the world, and uh, actually it is now becoming accessible. It has CE marked in Europe, uh, and uh, actually uh, in uh, Japan, uh, it's uh, available on uh, prescription by a physician. So, you can have it if you're not in the U.S., just with uh, Robert it Lane. forever, but uh, it, this is one that's quite interesting because it in this whole idea of depth of focus is new for us because that's why you can see it near and distance because you're just increasing the depth of focus. The other thing that's interesting in these patients is, is if you have them read, they can read here, here, and here too. So they don't, it's not like a lens where they have a point. They, they have a very good range of vision up close. So the patient acceptance is quite good. The surgeons really like doing it. I don't know whether Robert is still here, but uh, when, when Maloney started doing him, he just, this is fun. You know what I mean? You just could put it in and get it in the right place. And if you don't like it, you can take it out, you know? Would you get the same effect with a drop of pilot Yes, you do get a lot of that. But Other not quite than, enough. Not quite enough, yeah. So Dick, I, I, that's Dick's what I did. 